Someone's locked us in here. <laughs> the airlock is depressurizing. The oxygen levels are dropping. We'll run out of breathable air in minutes. What? No air? I'm gonna, I'm gonna pass out. Oh, I'm gonna pass out. Wait a minute. That's it. The chlorine candle. The what? Flat engineer Brat went over this. Weren't you listening? We'll take that as a no. She told us they're used as backup oxygen supply on airplanes, mine rescues, with firefighters. And on the International Space Station, in case of an emergency. <laughs> it's made out of sodium chlorate. When it's heated, it breaks down into oxygen and table salt. Totally harmless. <laughs> well, I know these two are smart, but how's the intern know all this? Uh, it's on my resume. It's how I got the job. We just have to pull this pin. It'll ignite what's inside and should generate enough oxygen to buy us more time. But is it safe? Flat engineer Bryant explained that it's wrapped in thermal insulation, protecting the equipment and, in this case, us. Oxygen level is rising. Nice job, but we've still got to get out of here. They now use heat strength and glass. If we had a glass cutter, we could cut the airlock window. Did y'all know when carbon is subjected to intense heat and pressure over long periods of time, it creates diamonds, hardest substance on Earth? That's super cool, but can we save the geology lesson until we're breathing fresh air? My great granny's diamond necklace. She gave it to me for my last birthday. Gigi was the only thing tougher than this here diamond, which, as everyone here except probably Riker knows, can cut glass. And I have just what we need. Is that a power drill and super glue? What can I say? I like to be prepared. A diamond tipped cutting tool. Em, want to do the honors? Note to self, use my status as a Space Inc. intern to put in a maintenance repair order. We're alive. We're alive. You girls rock. We did survive. But who was trying to make sure we wouldn't? So, why are you connecting him to a tin of curiously strong mints? It's my cleverly disguised portable lie detector. It flashes green when you're telling the truth and red when you're lying. <laughs> or if you have really bad breath. Yeah. Breath mint? <laughs> uh, no thanks. All good, it's the last one and I wanted it anyway. <laughs> now tell us what you did with the prince. And about Black Star's secret plan. Don't worry, girls. I'm gonna get some answers from our new friend here. I just hope I don't have to use any unsavory method. But that's entirely up to you, Chico. Yes, yes, it's true I work for Blackstar, but it's not what you think. He's telling the truth. I've been trying to warn you. Warn us? About what? Your evil plan to kidnap the prince? <sighs> Kinda late for that, buddy. Nobody's been kidnapped. Blackstar's not after the prince, they're after Data. Data? Yes, Data. They planted an illegal hacking device in the prince's luggage. What do you mean, a hacking device? It's a one of a kind. It took them over 10 years and cost a fortune to make. They're gonna use it to hack into a government satellite up there. Since this isn't about the prince at all. He's just a foil to hide their real intentions. But what about that phone call? Someone called spacing to keep the prince off that flight. That was me. I've been doing whatever I can to get this launch canceled. If that device makes it onto that ship, Blackstar's gonna have the ability to do all kinds of terrible things, like steal people's personal data. I never thought Blackstar was capable of anything like this. Daron made us believe that he was a humanitarian and an innovator that wanted to use technology for great things. But it was all a front. Why not go to the policia? I tried. Ha! Lie! Uh, okay, okay, okay. Truth is, I'm scared of Daron and what he might do to me if he found out. He has all this information in his hands, and who knows what he's capable of. 
But why would an internet security giant want to steal personal data? Why else? Greed. Daron wants to get his slimy hands on as much info as he can so he can sell it for billions. Personal info? You mean like all our emails and contacts? Photos and texts? Tumblr, Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram? Yeah, all that stuff. I think I'm gonna be sick. We have to stop them. Looks like we might be too late. Now just moments away from watching Prince Xander take off into the skies. Cam, call your dad. Voicemail. He's gotta be in the control room already. There's no way I can reach him now. The hacking device. If we can find a way into Space Inc., we can stop it from getting on that spacecraft. I say we destroy it so Blackstar won't be able to harm anyone, ever. Cam's right, we have to get in there and wipe it out. We're running out of time. One thing I still don't understand. If nobody kidnapped the prince, then who took him from the safe house to the launch? I bet one of his staff members is working with them. A mole? A dirty, rotten mole. And I think I know exactly who it is. Ooh. Who is it? Good luck. Guess I'll just wait here until you get back. Dr. Crawford? Please hurry, Owl. I only jammed the camera feed to this office for one minute so you can look through Dr. Crawford's files. Relax, Addison. <laughs> you know, I'd pace if I had legs. Michaela, can I help you? Uh, no, ma'am. I was just dropping off these files you asked for. Thank you. Um, I uh, actually have some others for Professor Cato, but I haven't seen him. Neither have I. I'm starting to get concerned. Would you like me to try to reach him? No, no, I'm, I'm sure he'll turn up. Oh, Michaela. You're doing a very nice job here. Thank you, Dr. Crawford. Keep it up. Start a search of Professor Cato's last known addresses. I will right after my bit rate returns to normal. That was close. There you are, two of Cafe Adam's sweet polyphenol teas to go. Enjoy! Very good, Rye. I'm just so excited. Thank you so much again for hiring me this summer. It's my pleasure, cariño. We're going to have so much fun. Totally. And with the extra money, I'm finally in that meditation class I've been wanting to take. Did you know that through MRI, scientists have found that meditation leads to enhanced creativity, better focus, lower anxiety, and a lasting sense of calm. I can't think of anyone who could use a little meditation more than you. Wow, this place is awesome. Adri, Bri, this is Tessa, and her mother, Miss Wallace. Bienvenidos al Café Atoms. Hi, Mr. Coyle. Hello, Bryden. Adrian? In honor of your first day at Destination Mars Camp, I'm going to make you all Café Atoms special cotton candy milkshake with liquid nitrogen ice cream. Sounds great. Warning, major brain freeze. <laughs> Has anyone been able to reach Michaela today? She's not answering her phone. No, I'm beginning to worry about her. She did take last night's fiasco pretty hard. Doesn't she also have her driver's license test coming up? Whew, talk about being stressed. Some meditative controlled breathing exercises would work for her about now. Breathe in through the nose, and out through the nose. In through the nose. <coughs> it's harder than it looks. I know we're smart, but that was a hard exam. Good thing taking tests is your thing. Yeah, felt strange. Won't say that again. Uh, anyway, glad I found you. Addison has some intel on Lazarus. I know where she lives! School me! Addison, school voice. 
OMG, these are totes knew where she hangs. Not that school voice. Janitor's room. Janitor's room. Addison, tell Bri what you told me. Well, after a data search of Lazarus's recent online purchases, I tracked her address and determined she's living in the Glenwood Apartments! Feeling blue, dress it up with glitter glue! Ah! FYI, that was not me. Avi, she's still glitching. Hello? Here. Private combo. Just chilling like a villain. Yeah, that didn't feel right either. Won't do that again. Uh, anyway. Hi, I'm new. I'm Michaela McAllister. And Evergreen. Well, I don't want to interrupt y'all's chilling, but I need to water Larry the Janner's aloe vera. That man pays more attention to his mullet than his plant. There you go, darling. Drink up. Oh, jackpot! Good trash. <laughs> I didn't know that trash could be good. It's for composting, which helps soil retain water and nutrients. I'm making biogas with an anaerobic digester for my tech fair project. When bacteria digest biodegradable material, they release methane, which can be harnessed as a source of energy. <laughs> and if any of y'all are thinking about stealing my idea, you'll find there's plenty of street in this country, girl. No, no, the trash is all yours. Do you want this? Don't mind if I do. <laughs> oh, and it's a honey crisp. Y'all have excellent taste in produce. Uh, thank you. I think. You can learn a lot about people from their trash. Bye, y'all. Bye, Lucinda. It's hard on a plant living in a closet. That gives me an idea. Grab Lucinda and make a run for it? Another idea. Project MC Squid. 